name is Robert Stoner. I'm the director of the Tata Center for Technology and Design at MIT. I've come here for the second time. I came three years ago uh, at a time when we were just launching the Tata Center. And the development dialogue was very helpful to us then as a way of formulating our mission. What that mission has become is the research arm of the Tata Trusts, who are the sponsors of the Tata Center. And by that I mean we are formulating and developing technology that can be brought to market in India at MIT, bringing to bear some of the best minds that we have at our disposal. Many of them are faculty members and other members, senior members of the research community. Two years from now, I hope to see many of those technologies coming to market in India, but it won't happen unless we have strong cooperation from Indian partners. Entrepreneurs who live in India are here every day, are familiar with the Indian entrepreneurial uh, ecosystem and Indian business, and can themselves become the purveyors of our technologies. We, uh, living in Massachusetts, struggle to uh, uh, develop or rather bring to market technologies in the same way that we do in North America, where we are present in the ecosystem and have familiarity with the market. So these partnerships are terribly important. I think what's exciting about the development dialogue and the activities of the Deshpande Center generally come down to the opportunity that they, they create for us to become partners in entrepreneurship. And I'm very excited to have seen the progress that has been made here in the last two years in further developing the Deshpande Center's mission and in creating local entrepreneurs who can do good in the, uh, in the surrounding region. Of course, this sandbox is just what I hope will be uh, among the very first of a much larger number of sandboxes across India. Creating one sandbox as a model for others uh, will enable other communities to bring together aspiring young, young entrepreneurs with local mentors and local markets to do good in their own local communities. Uh, it would be far more beneficial to do that than to create a single center, obviously, where uh, at the, at, in, in the long term, we may succeed in creating ventures that scale, but effectively are um, uh, not reaching out into other communities and creating entrepreneurs there. Uh, so I think it's, it's, it's very exciting that, that uh, a number of uh, satellite uh, sandboxes have begun to emerge, and I look forward to the day when uh, as was, as was uh, expressed in our first evening's festivities, there'll be a thousand serving the, uh, the many, many districts of India. When I hear development dialogue, I think capacity building at the community scale. Well, I think, I think the dialogue has become an international event. Uh, and, and, and I can see the change even over the last three years. There's an opportunity, I think, to advertise it more widely abroad and to bring in more international speakers and listeners to hear how things are being done here. I think that there's an opportunity to spread the methodology and vision from, from this sandbox to sandboxes on other continents, not only in, in India. Uh, and I think in particular of Sub-Saharan Africa and Central America. Uh, and so I, I, I hope that, that you're in, in the coming years we'll, we'll uh, be able to move more toward internationalization. Mm -hmm.